what's up? I know I ain't been posting in a while, but it's for a good reason. No, nah, it ain't for good reasons. I just been chilling. I, I decided to take the summer off. Me and my girl just had a uh, baby. She's one month now. Congratulations to me. Congratulations to me. Uh, but yeah, I decided to take the summer off, but summer's over. It's August something, so it's time to get back to work. But with that said, I wanted to make a video about my 4K video editing setup. Um, most of the time, you don't even need 4K, but if you wanted to jump into the 4K market, I wanted to show people that you don't need the 2018 MacBook Pro, you know, the i9, the one that everybody keeps saying overheating. You don't need that to, to get video editing done, especially when you're only editing 4K. So I'm going to show you what I use and what I think people should do instead of going and get a brand new machine. Check it out. Boom. This is my 4K video editing setup. Nothing special, but it gets the job done. I have a late 2015 27 inch iMac, 3.2 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and something I don't even know about the graphics card. But whenever I got it, it was 2015, and I just said, give me the baseline. Just give me, you know, what I, you know, whatever I needed. Just give me the bottom of the bottom. Uh, and it came out to like 2,500 or something like that, but I know it's a lot cheaper now. You could probably find it for like 1,500. But um, alone, without this little trick I'm about to show you, you would be able to edit 4K video. It would take a little longer, but you would definitely be able to edit 4K video in real time. So in about the little trick, this is the little trick I'm talking about right here. This is a Samsung T5 SSD hard drive, 250 gigabytes. So I can probably hold maybe two projects at a time with it, but it makes a huge difference. It probably boosted my editing time up like 50%, 50% guarantee that it sped my process up. So before you go out and just buy a brand new machine, Think about your hard drive. Think about your SSD. Think about getting the SSD. When I bought this, it was like 150 bucks, but right now these are on sale for $100. Uh, so $100 could end up saving you maybe like $800 if you think about it in this way. This wasn't supposed to be an advertisement or something like that for the T5 or you know this hard drive. Uh, so you can you know look it up on YouTube, do your own research, and you know just see how you feel about it. But I guarantee you this would help a lot more than going out and getting the latest machine. And for those of who are not sure how this uh, hard drive is used in the editing process, what I do is I, after I finish my footage, I grab my footage, I dump it onto here, one of these, probably like 50 bucks or something, it's like one terabyte. But that shows you the power of this one. This is only like 250 gigabytes. And this is, I guess like one terabyte and it's probably like a hundred bucks more so what I do is I after I finish shooting I drag my footage onto this hard drive here onto this hard drive here and then I copy it all over into this hard drive the fast hard drive and then I open up Final Cut and then I drag all my footage in from there if you like a tutorial on that let me know I'll make one for that but that's how this hard drive is used. Got any questions about it, hit me on Instagram. I'm a little bit more responsive there than I am here on YouTube, but that needs to change and I'm trying to change it. Y'all know like I know YouTube is a grind and it's a grind that I'm not gonna give up on. Stay away from people that drain energy, stay away from people that's uninspired. I've been working on that and I've been feeling a lot better. So everybody stay up, everybody keep grinding, everybody stay creative. Peace.